Hello there, David Millard here from Net Result Training. You know the memes that you see on Facebook, those little pictures with a caption on them? They're very, very popular and they're actually very easy to make if you've got a copy of PowerPoint. PowerPoint isn't most people's first choice for graphics editing, but it's actually very capable. So I'm going to create one and show you how to do it. I've already got a picture saved and the first thing I'm going to do is to create a container for it. So I'm going up to the Insert tab and from Insert I'm going to click on Shapes and I'm going to choose a rectangle shape that turns my pointer into a little cross. And I'm going to drag this onto the page and draw something that's roughly square. When I've done it, I'm going up to the Size group up here and I'm going to resize this to 14.58 centimeters square. Basically, it's got to be big enough so that when you put it on Facebook or on your blog or wherever you're going to use it and the software resizes it, it won't look too squashed. So before we go any further, I'm going to select my shape, go up to the gallery and just give it a plain blue outline. Now I'm going to insert my picture. So again, from the insert tab, choose pictures and now I'm going to choose the picture that I want, which is this one. So I'm going to use this as a little promotional device for my net result training website. So what I need to do is to resize it and you can see what's happening. It's automatically resizing the dimensions for me as I drag. And it's allowing me to center it. You see as I drag the dotted line appears across the page to show me when it's central. I'm going to fill this background in with a dark color so that when we put some text over the top of it, it'll show up. So I click on my shape again, and this time I want to go up to the format button and then shape fill. So I'll try a few of these and see which looks good. I think black's too extreme, but that what will probably do. And while I'm here, I've decided I don't want that blue border on the outline. So I'm going to choose no outline for that as well. And now I'm ready to put headline on here. I've already got that saved in a notepad file. So again, I'm going to go to the insert tab, click on text box. You see my pointer changes shape. I'm just going to draw a text box, go to my notepad file and copy the text that I've already written, paste it in there. The text box will automatically resize itself, click the border, and then I can change the size and the alignment. So I want this to be centered and I'll make it a bit bigger than that. And let's see if that fits in my picture. It does. That looks good. In fact, I can make it a little bit bigger. And again, when you center this, you see the dotted line for alignment appear automatically. Now I need to format this so that it stands out. So I'm going to go up to the Drawing Tools Format ribbon. And from here, I'm going to choose a word art style. I want this to stand out. So I'm going to choose one of these outline styles. I think I'll go for that one but I'm not quite finished with it yet. I want to change the font. So I'll go to the Home tab and instead of using Calibri, I'm going to choose Impact. I'm also going to change the outline. So from the Drawing Tools Format ribbon, I'm going to change the text outline to black, okay? So that it looks like it's got a little bit more going for it. The best way to resize them is to click the border and then whatever you do to the inside will affect all the text, not just one bit of it. Now, if you want, you can use these sliders here. I think I'll go for that one because that looks quite bold. Now I need the other bit of text, tame it. So I'll copy that. And now I want another placeholder. So insert text box. This time I'm going to go down the bottom and paste. I want to click the border, center this text again, and I want this to be bigger. I'm going to change the font for this. I'm going to change the color to white and I'll make it bigger. In fact, I'm going to move that up a little bit. You can do that by nudging it, hold the control key and just use the arrow keys on the keyboard. And now I want to insert another picture. So I put my logo down in the bottom right hand corner and now I want to save this. So I'm going to simply just drag a rectangle around the whole thing. And doing that will select all the elements in it. And then I'm going up to the Format tab and I'm going to choose Group. And that will group all the objects for me. Now, just to check on that, I'm going to drag it. See if it all moves together, which it does. So I'm now going to use that as my meme. 
simply by right clicking I can choose to save it as a picture. For the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to put it on my desktop and I'll call it Anger Man and PowerPoint will save this in the format of a PNG or a ping. If I go back to my desktop now, there it is. Now I can put that on my blog, I can put a link on there back to my website. As long as you've got PowerPoint and a couple of images, it's that easy to create a meme. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and if you haven't got PowerPoint, it's certainly worth investigating. So thanks for watching, see you next time.